Right, hello, this is uh, another uh, ASO Dix LXL. Said the wrong example then for a second. Um, what we're going to be doing in this video is it's going to be about differentiation and we're going to be including some minor hits like uh, the gradient function and what it is and how to calculate it. And um, I'm not going to be doing stationary points in this video. so. If you do want to know about stationary points and optimization, that's um, that's a C2 video. Of that so just check over on the C2 um, video, and you should be able to find that quite easily. <clears throat> but again, for this video, it's C1 differentiation I'm focusing on. So we'll be differentiating curves, and we'll be differentiating um, to find the gradients at given points. So, differentiation, well, what is it? Well, to introduce the concept of differentiation, uh, what you do, say we've got an equation that says y equals 2x cubed plus 12x plus 2, and we want to differentiate. Now, that is just a curve I've made up, so y equals 2x cubed plus 12x plus 2. Um, now, as I said, I don't know what curves look like. It could look like anything, but if we differentiate that, um, we do dy dx, so that's just the formula you put in. What we do is we times this, the power, by the number in front of the coefficient of that. So 2x cubed, 3 times 2 is 6, so it's 6. Now we don't leave it as x cubed to differentiate in it, so cubic becomes a quadratic, so we decrease the power by 1 when we times it, so 6x squared. We follow this method on. So there's an invisible 1 up here, so 12 times 1 is 12, and the x disappears as it becomes 0, which is 1. And because there's no x here, we leave that out there. So that just becomes 6x squared, 12. Now if the curve looks something like um, this, and again, I'm not saying it's going to because I haven't factorised this, I've just made this up. If the curve is probably going to look something like that, I don't know, maybe something like that, and we want to know the gradient, so we've got a gradient here, so actually I'll do it in green, make it stand out a bit more, so we've got a curve like that, and we want to know the gradient at, at this point here, so I'll say that x equals uh, 2, so we want to know what the gradient is at x equals 2, what we do is we do dy dx, we leave this function because this is the name it was known as the gradient function. So we put x in, it gives us the gradient at any x point. So 6 times 2 was squared plus 12. So 6 times 2 squared, so 6 times it squared is 2 squared is 4, 6 times 4, 24 plus 12 um, is 36. So that's the gradient equals m. So that's 36 units. Um, so that's the gradient at x is 2. Now, sometimes, hopefully, I'll just move out of the way um, so you can spot that if you've not worked out how I've done it. So what I've done is that I've differentiated that to get the gradient function. Said that it says x is 2, so we just put x is 2 there uh, into the de differentiation equation above, and that gets us the gradient. Now, sometimes, to flip it on its head, what the example would like to do is say... We're not going to tell you what the x-coordinate is. What it says is, um, so we're going to assume, uh, we don't know what this value of x is here. So we don't know x equals unknown. And it says, find the coordinates at the point the gradient is 4. So we know m equals 4. Assuming we've not done that thing before, we do the same thing with differentiate equation. We're going to get this, if it's the same curve, we're going to get that as the gradient function. Um, but we know m is 4. Now the gradient function is dy dx equals the gradient function. If the gradient function equals 4, we can say 4 equals 6x squared plus 12. Now, what we can do there is we simply move the 4 over to this side, so we get 0 equals 6x squared, now we take 4 away from both sides, that gets us 6x squared plus 8, so if the gradient is 4, um, 
what we do is we say, well, um, 6x squared equals m minus 8, um, divide both sides by 6, so x squared equals 8 over 6, x equals the square root of 8 over 6, and then x equals, if you do that, obviously when you do this in the C1 exam, it's going to be a lot more uh, simply. I've just come up with saying the calculate the gradient fourth. They'll do it as something much simpler, so you don't have to use a calculator. But it's plus or minus the square root of eight on six. If it if it doesn't say, so that's because it's square root. So it could be positive or negative. So because the curve curves up and down, it could be on the right hand side or the left hand side because you're gonna have a gradient of four at either side. So that's how you work out the gradient, and then it says work out the gradient um, at the given point when x is 4, and you just bang in x equals plus or minus uh, root 8 over 6 into your equation for y, and you get the y value. So this value of x would go into the equation there and there, and then you just substitute this value into the equation, and then that would get you the y value, which is a given value, and then you'd say you'd have two coordinates, so you'd have x and y, and you'd have x and y, and then they'd give you your two coordinates there, and that'd give you your uh, coordinates at the point where the gradient is 4. So hopefully that's been a, sort of a summary, a very brief summary. Um, I don't know if you followed that, just again if you haven't followed it and um, you'd like me to do some more questions just please drop a comment and I'll do a few more questions um, like this. But I think for the time being that's quite a relative concept. Um, the next topic we're going to be talking about is integration uh, but we'll leave that for the next video. So that's the introduction into differentiation, hope that's been uh, useful for you and you've been able to follow that. Again, if you haven't, just drop a comment and I'll respond as soon as I can. Anyway, good luck for your exam, um, and we'll see you um, in the next video. Um, just a quick, I know this is right at the end of the uh, video for um, differentiation and integration, well, it's at the end of the integration video, um, but for differentiation, um, which is a video I put it on, this differentiation you have tangents and normals and when you differentiate to find the gradient of a tangent or a normal on a curve uh, the tangent is uh, just following the gradient of the curve so it has the same gradient as the curve and uh, the normal has the 90 degrees it has, one, it has the negative reciprocal um, of the gradient of the curve so the gradient of the curve has 4 um, the gradient of the normal will have negative flip the fraction so instead of positive 4 over 1 it's negative 1 over 4 so that's just a quick thing I missed out and you'd use your standard y take y1 equals mx mx take x1 and just simplify it whatever it wants you to do so I just missed that out I thought it was quite crucial but you never know um, I thought I thought I was missing something so I was flicking through the book so hopefully that's cleared that little bit up um, what I missed so we'll uh, see you in the next video